What's shaking? Jim Zaspel here from jimzaspel.com with a question for you. Have you ever had a hard time selling your wholesale deals? Really simple question. And if you've ever wholesaled a house, I'm guessing the answer is yes. My question for you is would you like to know why you've had a hard time selling your wholesale deals? So, do you? <laughs> I'm listening to do. All right, here's the reason why. And then before I give you the, the, the magic answer, just like that quickly, um, I'll show you a lot of people think, oh, it's the market, or oh, it's the location, or oh, it's the uh, the marketing, which is very important. Um, but you know, all that stuff is relevant, let's just say, right? But here's what it all comes down to. And I know this from personal experience, right? If you've had a hard time selling your wholesale deals, the only reason you can have a hard time selling a wholesale deal, assuming you're doing at least a, you know, half way amount, half decent amount of marketing, it, like by half decent, I mean like Craigslist, you know, calling your buyers list, putting some ads on the internet, maybe listing the MLS, just half decent. If you're having a hard time selling your wholesale deals, the only reason why is because the numbers are no good. The numbers are no good. The, what sell? Is there's only two things to sell houses. Write this down, two things sell houses. Yes, those are my small, short fingers. What's up? Anyway, here they are, quality or price? Quality or price? What is quality? You know, quality of renovation, quality of location, quality of the school district, quality of the area, quality of the, of the style of home, et cetera, et cetera. Price is what sells. So when I rehab houses, I think last year to 58 houses, we'll do, you know, I'm not saying this year. And, you know, when my rehabs, I sell them for top dollar. So I'm not selling, like typically my rehabs, you know, 75% of them are the highest per square foot comps in the neighborhood, right? So I'm definitely not selling on price on my rehab projects. So quality sells them. My wholesale deals, the reason they don't sell, the reason yours might not be selling well is simply because the numbers are no good, right? And uh, so typically if you've been marketing your deal for two or three weeks, and if you've had at least a dozen showings on your deal, if you've had at least a dozen showings on your deal and uh, it still hasn't sold, I got news for you. The only reason it hasn't sold is because the numbers are no good. It's not, if you're wholesaling the hood, it's not because of the drug dealers or the 10 drug dealers in the block. Houses sell on those blocks too, but just for a lot less, right? It's not because the conditions, not because the back wall is falling in. It's not because it needs too much work. It's not because comps aren't that good in that area. It's because the numbers, the price at which you're trying to sell the deal isn't that good. That's the only reason it's not selling. And uh, don't let people tell you otherwise, right? So it's funny, I've had uh, some buyers, they'll say, um, well, no, I, I don't wanna buy that property. Um, the numbers don't work for me what number works, right? Or some agents they'll call it so funny. Some agents are just afraid to submit an offer below asking, I don't get it. Um, doesn't mean I'll take it, but I wanna know an offer, right? So sometimes an agent will say, no, my client's not interested in that property. So I've trained my sales girl, Andy, to say, well, at what price are they interested, right? And if they say, well, they're just not interested, here's her response. Okay, so if we sold the property to your client for a dollar and paid you a $1,000 commission, could we make this deal happen? And if they say no, you know they absolutely don't want that property, right? If they say yes, they say, well, I can't do a dollar, so how far above one dollar can your client get, right? I literally had these conversations, and sometimes you literally gotta force these offers out of people. I remember one time I sold a house to this guy, I, I called him up, this is years ago, and did a follow-up phone call, and I said, hey, you know, how much you will, you know, what'd you think of the property, what's your offer? So he says, ah, oh, I'm not really interested, it's not, it doesn't fit my criteria. Sounds like a very sophisticated way of saying no thank you, right? So that was what he told me. I said, well, you know, what would it be worth to you? You know, it was a number. Long story short, I sold the house to him, $3,000 under asking, three grand under asking, I made seven grand, right? So make sure you get an offer out of your, uh, your buyers. And by the way, here's a tip. If you keep getting offers in the same price range, let's say your contract price of the seller is here, and then you keep getting offers, you know, just like right here, just below that contract price, once you've gotten three offers and you've done a decent job of marketing it, you know what you're gonna sell it for. You gotta negotiate your price with the uh, three offers, might be a little too soon. Depends on how many showings and the interest level, that kind of stuff. But once you've gotten a, a good number of offers on the property, then um, you know, go back to your seller, renegotiate the deal, right? Pretty straightforward. If you're not getting offers on your property, it's because you're either doing a poor job marketing it, but really it's because the numbers are no good. All right, so, um, 
That being said, there's a resource on this page to uh, where you can learn some more about wholesaling from me if you like this. So uh, share this around and check out what's on this page. I'll see you soon.